<laughs> Welcome back everyone to the Xamarin Show, Snack Pack Edition. I'm your host, James Montemagno, and today I want to walk through the brand new templates inside of Visual Studio 2017 to create cross-platform mobile applications with Xamarin or Xamarin Forms. So this is really cool because we've not only updated all of the templates, but you now have some new decisions when actually selecting how to build the user interface, what platforms to support, and how you want to share your code with either shared projects or .NET standard projects. This is pretty great because you can always still create an iOS or Android app, but you can create everything all at once with one easy project. So let's hop over to Visual Studio 2017 and take a look. So here I am inside of Visual Studio 2017, and I'm just going to say create new project. And this brings up your new project dialog that you're probably familiar with if you use Visual Studio. I have Android project templates, iOS, tvOS, and then I have cross-platform. And there's now just one single cross-platform application here. And I'm just going to go ahead and say create. It will then bring up another dialog where I can select between a blank application, which as you guessed it, is a blank application, or a master detail application. Now, what's cool about the master detail application, it gives me a full kind of list uh, where I can drill into details, have an about page, tab navigation, uh, everything that I want. Now, what I'll also point out is that you now have the option to select what platforms you want to create. So, do I want Android and iOS? Do I want UWP as well? So, you select which platforms you want. Then, under user interface technology, you can select between creating the platform specific uh, user interface with Android XML, iOS storyboards, and XAML for UWP, or Xamarin Forms cross platform XAML user interface. So, I'm going to select all three of them and Xamarin Forms in the master detail application. And then finally, I'm going to select a .NET standard as my code sharing strategy. .NET standard 2.0 will give me a bulk of .NET uh, li uh, APIs to code against uh, and create a single assembly. If you just want uh, a, a really drop dead simple file sharing, that's where shared projects come in. You can always add a .NET standard library or a shared project later on, but let's go ahead and say .NET standard. I'm going to hit OK. Now, what's great is that the brand new uh, getting started uh, experience with File New creates the project really, really fast. And that is because we're now using uh, project or package references inside of Visual Studio. So here's my .NET standard library. I can come in and say right click, restore NuGet packages. And we can see I'm using NuGet, a .NET standard library. And under Android, I have all of my normal packages that I would expect. Now, what's great here is that this has gone out and it's going to pull in all of the NuGets when I actually compile up the application. So we'll give it a few seconds to compile, but let's walk and see what just happened uh, for File New. So since it's the master detail app, I have a list of items. I have some services like a mock data store where I can come in and actually have different items that I'm going to specify. I have some view models. So here I have an items view model, an about page, and the user interface. So I can come and take a look at the items page and the XAML, and you guessed it. It is a cross-platform XAML with Xamarin Forms. So here's all my XAML. I have a list view inside of here, which is super awesome, and I can customize any of my cells. Now, since this is a Xamarin Forms application, I still have Android, iOS, and UWP. So I can always set one of those projects as my startup, but all of the user interface is going to be shared here. So now the actual project is deploying to my uh, Android emulator that's right here. I could have also used the Xamarin Live Player to actually live run the view uh, and the entire application to a device, which is pretty cool. So let's take a look here in the application that was just generated. So literally from file new in just a minute, getting a full app up and running. So here I have browse, I have about, I can go in and tap on an item, I can go in and add new items, and I have a full application already generated that I can start as a scaffold. Let's go ahead and stop debugging here. And what's really cool is since we're using those brand new package re references, we can see that these are the Android support libraries that were brought in for me. So App Compat, Card View, and Media Router that are right there. And that's why it's so fast to actually generate the entire project structure in just a few seconds inside of Visual Studio. I don't have to download everything up front. I can do it at build time. 
So there you have it, actually. Nice, quick, and simple. Being able to go into Visual Studio, create a new cross-platform application, but customize it to exactly how you want it. Whether it's a blank application with Xamarin or Xamarin Forms or a full master detail application, it's all right there inside of Visual Studio, ready for you to create beautiful cross-platform apps. So this has been another Xamarin Show Snack Pack. I'm your host, James Montemagno. Don't forget to subscribe up over there, down over there on YouTube, wherever it happens to be, if you're on Channel 9 or YouTube, that will get you the latest and greatest Xamarin Shows right in your inbox. So until next time, I'm James Montemagno. This has been The Xamarin Show. Thanks for watching.